Hello guys, welcome back to the Harvest Info Channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can easily improve the battery life on your Oppo Find X9. At first, we need to unlock our device. And here, now, when we are in the home screen, we can go straight to the settings over here. Here, now we can scroll down till you see display and brightness and enter that. Here, as you can see, we do have something called the auto brightness. Enable this option. This can easily improve your battery life because based on the environment, it can lower your brightness level in your phone. As you can see, I've turned off my lamp. The brightness went almost to half. Now it will go even lower, uh, <laughs> to the level where you can see it, and it's turned on actually. Here, now as you can see, we have the option which is very cool and very nice for our battery. Apart from that, we can scroll a little bit more down till you can find something called auto screen off. Tap it. Here, the less volume you have set is the better for your phone. It's because when you have it set, for example, to 15 seconds, it's very irritating to have your screen turning off <laughs> after 15 seconds. When you, for example, want to read something without touching your screen or something like that. And yes, it's kind of irritating. So I will set it to one minute based on my preferences, but the lower volume, the better for your battery life. Of course, what I mean is the daily battery life, not the battery aging, etc, etc. To battery aging, there are some plenty of different um, battery uh, settings to change. Now, apart from that, here, as I can see, we have something called screen refresh rate. As I can see, when you do have it set to high, it uses uh, up to 120 Hz without any optimization. If you do have standard, you get the best battery life you, uh, can, you can get because we are not going uh, more than 60 Hz but the screen is less smooth and so of course it's based on your preferences but if you want to keep your uh, 120 Hz I do prefer auto select now we can go back and focus on the screen resolution uh, as you can see here they have something called high and standard High looks better, but for me, which where I do have an, an iPhone, I don't really care about that. <laughs> I just really care about how the phone uh, just works. So if you do care about the screen, re screen resolution, like here do, you do have sharper image, as you can see, you can keep high. But as for the battery life, I do recommend to have it set to standard. It just works better for the battery, improves its battery life, and uh, it's, 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 it's just better. Here, screen attention, disable it. It's just, um, I mean, it's a very useful, a useful option when you want, for example, to read something, but it's wor worse for your battery life when you want to have it almost, uh, almost the best. That's it about these things over here. Now we can go back and tap the dark mode. Uh, dark mode is a preference actually for some people. It's better to have the light mode, uh, for some it's better to have dark mode, but for the battery life it's better to have the dark mode enabled. You can tap schedule and enable scheduled option to, sun to sunset to sunrise, so during the night you will have the dark mode and during the day you will have the light mode. But for the purpose of the battery life, what I do recommend is to have uh, the dark mode set all the time. Of course, based on the preferences, we want to make in the uh, in this video want to make the battery life uh, as the be as best as we can. But you can adjust the settings up to your own preferences so that you can use your phone uh, comfortably. That's it for the display settings. Now we can go straight to the vibration and sound which should be um, so over here, sound and vibration. Here as I can see we have something called vibration intensity. If you tap that, you can lower the vibration intensity and lower it as much as you can. 
because as you can see you can feel the uh, this level in your for example pocket in your hand but it's better for the battery to vibrate less because when you do have for example your um, haptic engine almost disabled it's just better apart from that here as you can see we have a couple of options for example um, where was that clear voice my, but it's not that useful we can go now to the haptics here in the haptics they are very nice they are i love haptics actually and for based on my preferences i leave it enabled but for the battery life you can disable the system haptics it's because it's just a haptic engine oh haptic engine actually which is a different vibration motor and it's just more immersive vibration in your system it's not just that basic vibration like we, we do uh, have in our older phones it's just more premium more um more immersive just better you can feel the haptic as you can see if you uh do this slider and manage this slider but for the battery power process i will leave it disabled now we can go back and here go back again now we can go to the battery settings itself over here as i can see to save the battery life i'll uh, remember i do <laughs> recommend to have power saving mode and turn on turn on but what is the issue is that power saving mode limits our cpu which is the processor which limits our performance of the phone and changes all the things for example uh, every single thing that i showed in this video l uh, earlier just lim just limits everything to have this three hours more so it's based on your preferences actually um, but here i don't really recommend to have high performance mode um of course if you're gaming you can leave this high performance mode but as for the purposes to the improve the battery life leave balanced mode now go down and here search battery usage by app here if you do have some third party application tap this application and um, just here as i can see you can check any information about that if you do have here some application you don't know you don't really recognize that you have installed and it's not the os uh, some service or no os no not os application like for example here you'll have some crystal booster phone os application uh, at first here tap force stop but not for the settings actually because we can cross our settings like that do it only for the um for the body applications and apart from that go to the applications list and uninstall this application very quickly apart from that here you can go to the app management in the apps and search for the applications you don't use for example amazon shopping here you can tap easily on the battery usage and tap restrict background activity if you tap ok here now you'll have your background activity restricted which will use less battery it's really recommended to have it on tiktok for example on snapchat instagram on facebook on messenger you'll maybe have your notifications delayed at first maybe no notifications at all and the whole application will just load uh, less smoothly but it really increases your battery life and trust me it works on me <laughs> and yeah that's it for the app management and actually um that's it for this video uh, we don't have many applications like uh, many uh, options like that in our phone uh here in the battery as i can see we do have something called super power saving mode but use it only when you really need to save your battery like when you have five percent and one hour to go to home um and yeah actually that's it here you can manage the power savings etc so uh, you can manage up to your own preferences but the key options that i showed you in this video are the options you can change to keep your battery life the best and as i said that's it for this video if you found it helpful please consider subscribing to the channel and leave a like on our video it's really important to us to have your feedback so in case if you found it helpful as i said leave a comment leave a like and subscribe goodbye